They're called mini GPs, pint-sized motorcycles whose design is identical to that of the full-size motorbikes that race on the Grand Prix circuit. Mini GP motorcycles are designed for kids 9 to 12 years old who aspire to one day race the big bikes. A Mini GP can reach speeds of 130 kilometers per hour. Its chassis is made of steel tubing to which they mount the handlebars along with the clutch and brake levers. At both the front and back of the chassis, they attach a fork. Then between each fork and the chassis, they mount a shock absorber. With a steel pin, they mount a wheel on each fork. The black circle at the center is a brake disc. Next, they install a brake caliper on each wheel. When the rider applies the brakes, the caliper grabs the brake disc, immobilizing the wheel. Now, mechanics begin assembling the engine block. Using a special tool, they install bearings that enable the gear shafts to turn. The engine has six gears, each of which is comprised of several steel gears. These go into the gearbox. Next comes the gear shifter. It connects the gears to the gear pedal that the rider operates with his foot. Next, they install the crankshaft. The combustion cycle rotates the crankshaft, which turns the gears. They close up that side of the engine, then assemble and install the desmodromic spring. When the rider selects a gear, this spring keeps it locked in position until the rider switches gears. The engine turns a drive shaft that, via this pinion gear, moves a chain that turns the rear wheel. On the other side of the engine, they assemble the primary couple and the various components that go into the clutch, such as clutch plates and the springs that stop and start clutch movement. When combustion drives the piston up and down, it rotates the crankshaft. The primary couple transmits power to the gearbox and clutch. This is a one-cylinder engine. They install the piston that drives the crankshaft, then mount the cylinder over the piston. They close up the cylinder with a cylinder head, then mount the spark plug that ignites the fuel mixture, driving the piston up and down. A head cover closes everything up. Next, they install the ignition. It consists of two magnets called a rotor and a stator. When the rotor turns, it generates an electrical charge that sets off the spark plug. Time to install the finished engine. They mount it to the chassis with support pins, front and back. Next, they install the water pump that prevents the engine from overheating, along with the belt that drives the pump. Then they mount the carburetor. It mixes the fuel entering the engine with just the right amount of air. Next, they install the air filter. It keeps out debris that would clog the engine. Now the exhaust pipe, the fuel tank, the seat, and the fairing, a plastic enclosure that shields the driver. The final component is the chain connecting the drive shaft to the rear wheel. The engine turns the shaft, which turns this chain, which rotates the rear wheel. Many GPs come in different sizes. This particular model has a 50cc 14 horsepower engine. Pretty impressive for a kid's motorcycle. <laughs>